So a very warm welcome to uh, the launch of our white paper in collaboration with Public Policy Projects, just what the doctor ordered. IQVIA continues to be extremely committed to the UK life sciences industry. We have over 100,000 patients enrolled in clinical trials um, in the UK. And of course, the life sciences sector is a global industry. Uh, and the importance of the white paper today is that we, as the UK, need to make the case in that, in that global environment for why the UK should continue to be a fantastic hub for research, development and commercialisation of life sciences products and services. This is a forum for thinking about where Britain's essential interests lie in connection with the life science sector. It seems to me very, very clear uh, that we in this country have a competitive strength. Recognising the British opportunity in the strength of our science sector, the strength of our pharma sector, the nature of our public health system, and applying that to the global uh, life science sector, that is a huge British opportunity in a global sector. At IQVIA, we wanted to prepare some kind of evidence-based narrative about both the opportunities and the threats that Brexit poses and support both the government, the biopharmaceutical uh, and the pharmaceutical industry and also our NHS clients scenario plan for the impact on their business. As we all know, the UK is the third highest country for introducing new medicines. We really do think that the UK should continue to have a deep and special uh, relationship with the EU. Also position itself as a destination for inward pharmaceutical investment, shouting the successes of our fantastic world-leading uh, talent that we have in the UK, protecting it but also enhancing it too.